Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It comes in 148 scale and it copies A26 C15 Invader with pilots and also GP, I guess it's a ground crew maybe but we have a commercial sample here so set number is 48 288 and of course we are going to open it together with you in this video and check what is actually supplied in this release so first of all i have to know the box art here it is as nice as all recent reviews uh, we we've been encountering the ICM kits so here as you can see it's uh, almost a painting and it would be cool to get it as a um, maybe some poster to put it on your wall here you can see comparison with my hand so I would say it's a typical size for ICM 148 scale kit and it's the same size of the box as previous A26 Invader releases from the same brand. So uh, on the side here you can see also the short information about the model and some information about the real aircraft. We should have inside 252 plus uh, 35 parts and length of the finished model will be 326 millimeters while wingspan is 447 millimeters so it's quite a huge aircraft and on the opposite side you will find uh, two marking options which are supplied here but we will talk more about them when we will be checking the assembly manual because it will be shown there as a marking guide and just like any recent release from ICM. This one is sealed with the tape so that's why I will have to cut through in order to open this box. As you can see the top cover is actually attached with this tape so that's why you won't be able to open it and check the parts which are hidden inside. Obviously some others won't be happy to hear this because it prevents them from checking whole kit but there is nothing we can do and if it is cut through when it arrives to you it means somebody was opening this box before you obviously and it's a good idea to ask seller why it was actually opened especially if you are getting in some uh, model shop that's why i always recommend to get it in Madelimax because Madelimax are quite reliable and quick and they always have this novelties from icm uh, let's say faster than other shops on the market so I'm almost done with this seals here as well. Let's close the knife. As for the box structure, as you can see, it's typical, but I guess we would have now a bit of uh, issues with removing the top cover because usually with the thick boxes from ICM, it's really difficult to remove. So as you can see, it's flexible. It does not provide any protection at all. And this white cardboard box, it actually uh, preserves all parts intact and here is what we have inside. So all frames are packed into the same plastic bag. As you can see, we have separate plastic bag for figurines. And we will actually start with them because they were on the top. So we won't be, let's say, checking some other stuff. We will be starting from the top to the bottom. So it's a resealable plastic bag. It should be easy to open. Just to remind you, we are dealing here with figures in 148 scale and that's not such a popular genre for uh, fingerings. That's why it's even better to get them here out of the box. And I would say the parts design is somewhat similar to what we are used to see in 135 scale. So if I zoom in, you understand what I'm talking about. And here we should have, I think, one, two, three, four five figures even six as far as you can see so let's zoom in and check this corner first uh, first thing you can notice that there are no guiding elements whatsoever so you will have to be careful while joining all this stuff together because in some places it might be a bit tricky to get the smooth connection between these arms and body but overall a sculpting of these figures it looks really great here if i flip it over you can see that again we do not have any guiding elements whatsoever and for the sculpting as i said the scale is not that huge so maybe it would be a good idea to bring it out with help of painting techniques so that all these features won't get lost on your figure Next I'm opening another plastic bag, so excuse me for the plastic bag sounds, let's say. Let's remove this one from the table, place this plastic bag here, and we start again from the top. 
So, first sprue here is obviously bigger than what we had for figures. And this one is dedicated to wing parts, so each side of the wing should be glued out of two halves. We have separate wing mechanization, and external features are typical for such kits. It means recessed panel lines and rivets, they're all here. So, it's just a matter of uh, maybe underlining them with help of shading techniques, maybe with help of washes. Note that engine gondolas are also provided as a separate two-piece assemblies, so be ready for this. And as far as I remember, this kit is, um, let's say, accompanied with really nice engines. So it would be a shame not to expose one of them, because uh, it is really great thing for a 148 scale, and you will see it further in this video. But now we are going to talk about this fuselage house. So both are molded together with tail fins, but without rudder and without nose section as well. So if I zoom in, you can see that here we have again recessed panel lines and rivets. In 148 scale it looks nice, but it's not such a deep, let's say, features. And you have to be careful with paint layers and primer. Here you can also take a look at the internal features which are pre-molded, so these are interior structure and it should look great if you plan to open the door or maybe to do some cutouts on the aircraft. It will be up to you if you are, uh, let's say, eager to perform such modifications on your model. Next we continue with some minor parts necessary for today's version. So as you can see there are some changes for the cockpit, also some changes for the fuselage and the wing parts and everything looks nice so it's the same molding quality, it's not something different because it's supplied as an extra so there is nothing to be worried about. Next we continue with a clear plastic sprue, so this one is supplied in a separate plastic bag in order to avoid any unnecessary scratches. And molding quality looks nice. In previous releases ACM was also supplying the mask templates. I wonder if this one is also including the mask templates because it will be a really handy addition. In the worst case you can get the aftermarket set from Edward. It will just be easy to apply on your model because it's already pre-cut masks ready to be used with this exact kit. Next we have two identical plastic frames which are dedicated actually to the engine part. So here I would like to zoom in first and start with this one piece propeller. Next we continue with some engine gondolas parts and engine themselves. So it's one of the engines because as I say this sprue is supplied in two pieces. Note that the frontal section of the engine gondola is made as a single piece part so it's really great you won't have any gaps or seams in this area. We also have bombs here and next we continue with more parts for the engine because it's a twin star as far as I remember so that's why we have so many parts. But overall I really like that ICM decided to include this out of the box, you don't have to buy it as a separate edition, so it will definitely influence the final appearance, even if you don't plan to open the engine on your model, still it will be visible through the engine gondolas and I think viewers will appreciate such addition. Next we continue with a bigger plastic sprue, so this one is dedicated mostly to the landing gear legs here, some cockpit parts, some nose sections which will not be used in this kit, wing mechanization, and also some parts for, as far as you can see, these are landing gear doors and bomb bay doors. Everything looks fine, again for the cockpit I would rather recommend to get the PE set from Edward because it will provide you with even more features and in 148 scale it should be a worthy upgrade because it will be visible. And next we have another grey plastic sprue, so these are uh, wing halves for another side. We also have these bulkheads which will be actually holding the wings from both sides, but I would rather use also some metal rod in order to reinforce the whole structure because the 47 centimeter wingspan is not a joke and that's why it's worth thinking how to get the more or less rigid structure, let's say. Next we have landing gear wheels, so they are given on two 
plastic spruce. These are uh, main and no winding gear wheels. And as you can see, they have guiding elements inside, so they should be easy to combine together. But again, if you would like to have a really nice result, it's better to get the resin replacement in this scale. Again, it will be noticeable because as you can see, these wheels are not small. So they are visible even on the finished aircraft. And there is one more clear sprue. So this one is dedicated to the nose section canopy. As you can see, we have this really nice top part. And again, this section should be a bit tricky to mask. So that's why mask templates should come handy if they are in the package. But we will know it in a few minutes because first we need to check the masks. Guy. Um, actually, this is not the masks. This is the decal sheet which is provided by ECM and it's not that huge but here we have all necessary symbols for several marking options as you remember we also have decals for the instrument panel but no seat belt decals so in case you would like to have seat belts you will have to get the aftermarket release uh, made out of PE or maybe some 3D decals from Edward or other brands Next, we continue with assembly manual, so I have to close the lenses even more so that it won't be that bright. So it's a cover printed brochure, short history note and technical specifications, parts map here, separate manual for the pilots and ground personnel, as you can see, for this aircraft. And here we have the marking guide, which is combined together with assembly manual, but obviously it would be also good to find some references in order to uh, carefully replicate the uniform. Next, we continue with the parts map again. So only few parts will stay untouched. So that's why it's important to pay attention which ones will be used on the aircraft. And assembly process starts with the cockpit. We assemble also Bombay and all this things they are going inside the left fuselage half and as you can see then we start working on the right one and then I guess we will be joining them on the next page so just give me a second yeah here yeah so we are joining them together start building the tail wings and rudder then we work on the nose section as you remember it should be assembled out of separate panels and then it connected with the fuselage so it would be worth to check the overall fitment so that you will get the right alignment of these large sections next we start assembly of the wings here you have to drill some holes for the um i think for this is for the bombs yeah so if you would like to install the bombs or gun pods you have to have these holes and as you remember, the wing mechanization is completely separate here, which is really great for a 148 scale aircraft. Next, we start building the engine nozzle, and here we will have to do the same work twice because it's a twin engine aircraft, and you should also place the uh, weight into each one of these, and it's 100 grams required into each one, so it will be quite a hefty build. Next, we continue with the clear parts canopy for the cockpit. And here you will have to decide which marking option you would like to copy because it will also define the part choice. Next, we have the landing gear assembly and the engine. So as you can see for the engine, we have whole page dedicated and then you install it from both sides. So that's why I'm always saying it's worth not gluing into the place this frontal section of the cooling because you can easily remove it later and expose the engine on your model. You can also decide whether you would like to open the bomb bay or you would like to keep it closed. And here we have some alternative parts, antennas, and their choice again depends on the marking option you choose. Of course, you can also decide whether you would like to have gun ports and bombs on your aircraft. And we have the masks templates, which is really great because as you can see, a lot of things to mask with these parts, uh, with these stickers. And then here you can see three marking options. So this is a really great choice. I mean, in 148 scale for such big aircraft, this is okay in my opinion, especially considering that we are getting the masks and plate out of the box. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.